Initializing firmware. Functional. Loading child program parameters. System check. Passed. Starting child process. Ready? Behold, oh. child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay. <laughs> All right, Elohim. <laughs> what an intro. Loading some kind of sub process. And then God speaks to me with a booming voice from the sky. I'm assuming God. Elohim. Also written in all caps. Maybe an acronym? He's my maker. And I have to seek him in his temple. That's all I get, huh? Where am I right now? Looks like ancient Greece. Or maybe even ancient Rome. Well, after they stole all the culture from Greece. The game is beautiful though. I can jump? Can I sneak? No. At least not with the default key bindings. Okay, guess we uh, seek out this Elohim guy, huh? Initiating child program logic check. Oh, the music though. What's that? Subject object interaction okay. Dude, I'm totally being tested here. Complex task management? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know this game is about puzzles and it has a philosophical element to it, but that's about the extent of my knowledge. Is that the premise of the game that I'm... Some kind of child process being tested? And that's the excuse for giving me puzzles. Okay, I can't get through. Makes sense? Jam that. Alright. Child program basic calibration successful. Uh oh. Can I jam this? Yeah, spatial awareness, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. My spatial awareness is... very popularly described as being not okay. Let's just say that. God, it's beautiful, though. The atmosphere is... very serene, isn't it? By the way, these trees right here... I don't know the name of these, but they're my favorite trees ever. These, along with the very uh, tall and slender ones. Those over there, you see that one? Favorite trees in the world. I love them so much.
Predictive capacity, okay. So I'm guessing if I didn't do this... Oh, hold on a sec. Listen to this music. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, man. It's so good. Oh. You know that feeling when... The music hits you in such a way that you almost can't breathe for a second. I don't know where I am, but there is something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. At version 17.1. Weird, a QR code. Part of me wants to scan that with my phone and see if it actually works. Hold on, I have to try that. Let me see if this works. Yeah, it totally does. It has the same text that is displayed in the game. So there's a ladder over here, I saw that, but isn't that just gonna lead me back? A shortcut, I guess. Okay. Hold on, I, I'm too curious here. What if I don't do this? Is it gonna kill me? Oh shit! If I walk in the red? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Correcting for errors done. Reloading child program done. Oh, everything got reset. Oh yeah, I guess everything got rewound. Okay. I guess if I walk into that laser, I'm gonna get shot. Disabled, or jammed, I should say. Okay, let's keep going. I, I, I don't think there's anything else here. All across oh! this land, Fuck. I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Sigils attain eternal life. To serve generations to come. What the heck? Well, that's a cool effect with the glare. Something's over there for sure. I just want to check every nook and cranny here. Look at this place. Dude, my heart beats faster when I hear music like this. It's hard to explain, but it's like... <sighs> so what the hell is this? Tetris pieces, look at this. There's one here, one there, one there. Let me just go in here. A switch out of reach.
Okay, there's a switch. And it is indeed out of reach. Hold on, so I can grab that. What's in here? Nothing. Like, when you make these little side areas like this, I feel like there, sh there should be something there, no? Okay, so this one I have to jam. Quite a long range on it, too. We have a ball that explodes. Tetris piece. It's like electrified. Oh! A simple staircase. Man, this game reminds me of... Oh, there is that one puzzle game where you're on this island. Literally just solving puzzles around the island. So I can take this now. Because that is disabled. And I can disable that ball and move. Beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> I love this so far. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. They are the sigils of our name. Meaning... Elohim is family? And I'm part of that family. Am I his child? It did say child program, logic check and all that stuff. I'm very intrigued by all this. Oh, that's nice. Crosses it off. Outnumbered. Okay, so we need to disable that. And here we have a thing. Oh, but wait, I can also do that. Why would I do that? I can even jam this from here. Hold on, let me move to the other side. Analyze the situation. Jam. Oh, I get it. I understand. I have to do this. Don't follow me! Yeah! Locked him out. And then... We do that. Beautiful. Oh my god! Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Oh yeah, he's calling me child. Well done, child. Hmm. Oh man, I'm already getting complex theories for the story. That is completely based on nothing, but it's... I, I love theorizing this sort of stuff. So, I'm just gonna jump in here. Okay, so my current completely unfounded theory is that Elohim is God, right? And I am his son. 
But maybe he's about to die or something, and someone needs to replace him. So he's training me. He's building up my logic, my spatial awareness. He's basically building me up. You know? So I can replace him someday. As God over these lands or whatever. Although, there is a science fiction aspect to all of this. So maybe all of this is like, sort of a matrix type deal. Uh, actually I can... Well, I, I can actually just move past it. And maybe I do this. Run. Oh fuck. Uh, whoa! Okay. Maybe I want to do this. Close it. Why would I want to do that? Oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Okay, Dad. I shall. Okay. So these are all crossed off now. I got them all. What about this place? Hmm. Oh, okay. Hold on, I don't want to do this yet. Wait, 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 wait. Whoops. Oh, I can put it anywhere. Let me put it back. Uh, close. There's more over here though, look. There's another one. Don't I already have a green one of those? Yeah, look in the top left. I already have one of these, but... I guess I'm gonna grab more. I don't think I can enter this. Oh! Ah! Finally! I'm being rewarded here. For my exploration. Now I know for sure I should explore everywhere. What is this place? Is it a secret? Oh, look at that. There's a star. A gold star for my efforts? Is that what that is? Here, you get a gold star for finding this. But wait, I need a jammer to get in there. Oh shit, hold on. This is not that straightforward. Maybe I need to get a jammer from somewhere else? And bring it in here? My child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Ah, uh, fuck that noise. I'm a completionist, bro. I need to find everything. And I'm stubborn. Here's the jammer. Hold on, I want to go back and grab that star. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I see the problem. Hmm. Okay. 
Hold on. Let me try and solve this one then. There's also something back here. Aha! Hold on. Let me take a look at this jammer. It almost looks like a rangefinder. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I think I know what to do. Oh, fuck, I can't do that. Wait. Unless I can... Yeah, okay, I see. We leapfrog it. Like that, and then we take this. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> hey! Awesome. And to get back, um, we take this. And open that. Take this, in case we need it. So on the other side here, I need to somehow bring this in. But I can't take it through here. Let me go back in here. Did I miss something? I'm not seeing a jammer here. Okay, let's assume I grab that from somewhere completely else, because there's definitely nothing in here. Not that I can see, at least. Hmm, okay. Man, that was kind of hidden, though. They were hiding that. Done. Peephole. Huh. Oh, I can't take this with me. Ah, okay. So what if I do that? I walk through. I grab the jammer from here. Ta-da! And then I... Let me just check here. Wait. There? Let me go through here again, and then we jam the other one. I just need a line of sight here. Oh, that's not gonna work. But I can do that. And then I can move closer with this one. That's how you do it. Bam. Ah, oh, the music, man. It tickles me. Take that with me. You are most diligent. Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Yeah, thank you, Dad. He sounded so proud of me. That's awesome. Okay, so I cannot bring a jammer through here. That's a no-go. So I can enter here now. But wait, there should be a way to find a jammer though. Okay, fuck it. Let's go through. Maybe there's a jammer on, on the other side of here actually. Okay. Ah. Nice! <laughs> oh, it's a computer! Oh, creepy! Oh, look at my hands! Oh, I'm a robot! What the fuck? I didn't even notice! 
Loading library session. Um, guess that local. Okay. Directory. Type help for list of available commands. Help. Display a list of available resources. Show contents. Run MLA. Load Milton Library Assistant. Advanced interface. Close the terminal session. Uh, list. Welcome.eml. Email? From Nadia Sarabhai at Institute for Applied Something. To Alexandra Drennan at Nomadics. I don't know. I don't know what nomadics means. Welcome to the team. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that nominally speaking, I'm head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know, you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. G, grin? Let's do this, Nadia. Okay? Nadia Sarapai and Alexandra Drennan. Hmm. So Alexandra Drennan is now in charge. Hold on, I have to Google what Nomadics is. I feel like this is gonna be important. I'm using my phone here. Nomadics. The study of the possible meanings of scripture. Okay, interesting. I mean like religious scripture? That would make sense. With the setting so far at least. Athena 6. Chapter 6. Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Did not trust them. But they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it. But all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles something, gazing upon the stars and wept. Okay, this is some made-up scripture, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But it sounds intriguing. Huh. Figure it out, email. From lie to some kind of IP address on some remote server. Subject F6E. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together. Try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth. But that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world. And searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. 
Love, Dad. Man, what a great message. I would love to meet this dad. Okay. I can run the Milton Library Assistant. So hold on. <laughs> I'm a robot. So it makes sense, I guess, with the whole loading child process. You know, calibrating basic stuff. Spatial awareness tests. Maybe God up there. Is not really God. But simply an abstract idea of someone controlling me being the robot or programming me. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Loading Milton Library Assistant. Done. Initiating plain language interface. Support session opened. Hello, guest. How can I help you today? Oh, are we doing uh, chat GPT? <laughs> Oddly relevant, too, given the times we're living in. I guess this came out before chat GPT and, and all the large language models, but... Let's just spam the keyboard. I'm sorry, but what you just wrote was nonsense. I respond best to subject, verb, object, syntax. I feel like this... Language model here is a bit aggressive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Understand is a strong way to put it, but yes. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? I'm sorry, I am only able to process and respond to basic subject, verb, object, syntax. So you're kind of a dumb AI. Are you able to take offense, you pointless contraption? You cannot insult me. <laughs> Pretty sure I just did. Describe your functions to me. The Milton Library Assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human language interface. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Man, you know what's funny about this? So this game came out in 2014 or something, right? The developers of this game thought this would be like a sci-fi thing. You know, to be able to talk in natural language with a computer and have it perform functions based on what you tell it. We're living in that world today. And compared to the world we're living in now, this is very, very basic. That's blowing my mind. Okay, let's see here. What are these terminals? Terminals provide access to the library resource archive. Yes, okay, fair enough. How old are the library archives? Library resource publishing dates range from 1st of July 1995 to 27th of June 2030 something? How long has the system been running? The system has been active for <laughs> 9,999 E years. E to the what, though? A long time, I'm guessing, here. Some kind of overflow. Interesting. What's the current status of the library archive? There are 47 million resources in archive, taking up 5.4 petabytes of disk space. That is approximately the size of 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, the entire internet in 2003. 
However, the majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. 10.7 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. Oh, that's not a lot compared to 5.4 petabytes. Interesting. What caused the data corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. That's actually so true. Like, if you leave a system running for this long and... Given this answer here, this could have been running for... Well... Way more years than you could possibly imagine, maybe. I don't know. That's like... Probably a very high number of years. Entropy itself is gonna... It's gonna mess with you. If you're talking about... Timescales... As long as this, you know? Only entropy comes easy. Okay. Forget the library. Can you respond to queries on the outside world? My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. Where am I? You are currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface module. Your library archive session may be resumed at any time. God, what a useless answer. Who is Elohim? Elohim is the noun for God or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. Interesting. I thought it was an acronym. What am I? You are locked in with a guest account. That's not what I asked. And you know it. Okay, so I'm obviously a robot. Actually, that that's that may be, that's not necessarily true. Maybe I only have robot hands because I, I haven't seen the rest of myself. Okay. New texts added to journal. Press, what was it, J? I missed it. Press something. I'm pressing all the buttons. Wait, what? Hold X to reset? No, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't know. I'll find it out later. I'm gonna check the keybind section. Okay, so there's just a computer right here. An old computer too. Probably this is a computer from 1994, right? Or 95, was it? Look at that old power supply. Okay. I'm definitely overthinking this right now. But I love overthinking things. It's so much fun. I'm hearing something bounce into things. Okay. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Hold on, before I do that, I'm too curious. I have to explore everything, man. If a game tells you to go one way, you have to expect the player to go the other way. Oh, man. The music. God, I love this. Poking a sleeping lion. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm guessing I cannot pick that up. It's gonna explode me instantly. So, why don't I grab this? And then I'm gonna do this. Grab this over here. Go on this side, and then jam the machine gun. And now I can be on my way. 
beautiful. I can't bring it with me, right? Yeah. So hold on, there's definitely something behind here. I get this tingling feeling. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe that would be too obvious. So hold on, I still need to... I still need to find a jammer somewhere to bring with me into that one place with the star. Trio Bombasticus? <laughs> or Trio? Makes sense. Three bombs. Do I have a jammer? There we have it. Damn it. There we go. And then we do this. Oh, she can they explode me even when I'm behind here? Let's say I'm really close. No. Okay. Nice. So it seems I'm missing two green ones and one yellow. Also, I'm just now noticing. Look at the yellow symbol in the top left of the screen. It's a symbol that looks exactly like this. And the other one is an A. What the heck? Can't bring that with me. So I cleared that one. I cleared this one. Do we walk into the light? Look at that. Ones and zeros. Am I actually in the matrix? Oh my god, I got everything except the star. Hold on, I have to think about this. There's gotta be a way. Let me go back for a spell. Whoa, I'm fast as fuck, boy. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Hold on, I think I can grab it from here. Oh, that's so smart. That's a classic puzzle here. Go back to the beginning. Is that why that ladder was there, I wonder? I saw that. Oh, look at this. There we go. Uh, here. Grab that, and then we go. That's it! That is the answer there. That's actually a great puzzle. I like the puzzles so far. They're not too difficult. And they make me feel smart when I solve them. <laughs> Those are the main ingredients of a great puzzle. I think it was in here. Yeah, here we go. There it is. You're not gonna say anything, Elohim? Are you not impressed with my performance? Dude, I'm actually so glad that it shows you that. You know... These signs. For someone like me that likes to... Oh, wait. I forgot about these. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer. With signs and portions to guide my steps. I am one of his children. And challenges are set before me to test my faith. One with faith. Interesting. 
his children capitalized. So maybe Elohim has multiple children. I am just one of them? Oh my god, I'm getting ideas here. What if I am just... Oh, listen to this. You know how they train these AIs to become good at video games? You know, the AIs play the games again and again and again and again until they learn how to play the game. What if I am just one of those instances in a long chain of AIs playing the game? Huh? I know it's a little bit meta, but think about it. I am just an AI trying to solve this video game, which happens to be a puzzle game, right? Maybe these are previous iterations of me trying to solve this game and they've left these messages. Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? I'm ready. What's gonna happen? You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Interesting. Oh, oh, I see. So this was the first world. That's the second world with more puzzles. Look, hold on. Yeah, I did everything in here now. Perfect. Okay, there's something over here as well. Oh, listen to this music. I feel overwhelmed. What a grand chapel, man. Thanks for watching. In the next one, I'll explore the second world and see what the hell is going on in this game. I'm loving it so far. Have a good one. Adios.